What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. And this is going to be part two of the video I made a little while ago talking about uh, using Apple Music with your uh, algorithm DJ Pro. And this time I wanted to talk about what I initially wanted to talk about was wanted to talk about in that video, which was how to get your music from your Serato crates into uh, algorithm DJ Pro. And that's something that I had to really consider because one of the things that really helped held me back from getting fully into using algorithm is the lack of familiarity with the crates or the playlist. You know, you make your playlist in there and you can also pull in playlists from um, iTunes, but I, I'm always used to DJing with my um, Serato crates, you know, that file structure, those file, those crate names, that, that's all that really makes me comfortable when I play. And so what I needed to do was find a way to get the music over there. And um, I may have be doing it in a roundabout way, but I found a way that's really efficient and it actually gets it done in a very organized way for me to get the music from um, my crates specifically from Serato to copy them to uh, external drive and then import them into um, my iPad using the files app. And when I use the files app, then I can go into um, Algorithm DJ Pro and then I can make playlists or crates within that app using the files that I imported. Now, one thing you will need is a flash drive. And this one is a really good one that I would recommend because it is, um, very useful very useful it's a dual drive usb so what it does is it's a flash drive and it has here this one is out of the package but on one side it's got usb c and then on the other side you just slide this over and now you have usb a so that allows you to um, go back and forth between two devices because they have different um they have different ports like on this this ipad it has a usb c but on this older mac it has a usb a so i'm able to um copy files over to here from this flat from this uh computer and transfer them over here without getting an adapter or some other device <clears throat> so what i'm gonna do is uh pull up a starter screen recording and then we're gonna do take a look at uh, Serato first. All right, so now I have Serato up and I'm also going to insert the flash drive into the laptop. Let me make sure it's slid out, put it in. So I'll give it a second for the flash drive to recognize and load up and because I've used this flash drive in this computer before with Serato, it, there, it has a Serato database. So when you connect this to someone other, else's computer in their Serato, these crates will pull up. So right now, actually, let me show you. So on this flash drive, these are crates that I have copied out from Serato, my Serato. These are, I actually have crates with, that are labeled with these names in um, Serato. And as you can see, there they are, the orange crates. The only one I didn't copy over is the Soka, Soka crate. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a well, I, I didn't copy over the acapella crate either. So we can, this is a good one for me to test with. So what I'm going to do is go over to the files tab right there. And when you go into files, you can see your file structure on your computer, on your laptop. And the same thing on your PC, you see your, your file structure. So you see the flash drive right here that has all those um, crates that I copied over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy over this crate right here, which is 99 to 90 to 99 BPM. I'm just gonna click on it and drag it over to the, the uh, flash drive and let go. When I let go, you get this box that pops up here and it's gonna ask you if you wanna copy it, uh, if you want to remove the original references from the library, and this is very important, if you, this is basically like the difference between dragging and dropping or copying and cutting and pasting. You definitely want to copy it, but you don't, in my opinion, I wouldn't want to uh, remove the file from my Serato library. That's what's gonna happen. You're gonna lose the music in Serato 
on your laptop if you cut once you copy it over so don't check that just make sure you do copy and it takes a little while not too long just to really depending on how much is in the folder or in the crate and what it does is it put it in right here so this is that crate it's now a folder here on this flash drive so now the next thing we need to do is get out of Serato and move over to the iPad and with the iPad we're going to import it into um, the files app and then with files we're going to go into from DJ Pro we're going to go into files and make those into the playlist so let's get out of here uh, X stop the screen recording eject my flash drive bring it right over here slide it over and let's start a screen recording on the iPad so screen record right here <clears throat> so right here we're on my iPad home screen I'm gonna go into files all right so we're in files now and you can see the flash drive right here that is it with all the crates and you see the 90 to 99 bpm acapella so what i'm going to do is to click, hit select i'm going to click on that and i'm going to choose move and i'm going to move it to a location on the actual ipad and in this case i have a i have a folder within my files app called um, serato crates and now on the ipad the files app is just the same as finder on your mac or file explorer on your pc it's just the way you navigate through the folders so um, you can see recently used i had serato crates but i'm going to navigate through it so you can see how i get to it on my ipad bam it's right there serato crates and i can just click copy and it is going to copy that right now we see we're still looking at the flash drive but if i go onto my ipad serato crates i can see let's see where are we at acapellas right here this is what i just copied over so now that we have that in that folder and we know where that that crate is what we can do is go into uh, algorithm dj pro and we can go to the library wait go to library go up here this icon at the top that's your music that is uh, on your uh, in your uh, DJ Pro library you have your DJ Pro library then you have your uh, music that is synced well actually now this is uh, the Apple music icon it used to be just the music that synced but now this is Apple music the streaming service this is title the streaming service this is locally stored music this is music that you sync up using the method that i did in a previous video using the cable to use itunes to sync your different playlist and then this is files you can actually set up a way to link folders and files i mean what i'm doing now is almost the same thing i just prefer to do it this way and keep it in the dj pro library so now that i'm in here you can see all those folders that I previously copied over. Those were crates within my Serato. And now I'm going to go up here to the top and do plus symbol playlist. Uh, we're going to do 90 through 99 BPM acapella. Add it. It puts the playlist right there at the bottom. If I go into it, you see it's empty right now. I hit add songs from files we'll pull up files we'll go into serato crates and look for that one there it is i'm going to tap one of them then hit select all select all of them hit open and it's going to drag them it's copy them right in so all those acapellas are, are right there <clears throat> for me so everything that was in that crate is now in um, uh, DJ Pro playlist is what they call it instead of a crate, but the same thing. And what I like about this also is with DJ 
Pro, you can hit edit and drag it. So I like to have mine in alphabetical order, which is something I wasn't able to do in Serato. It was at one point, but it got mixed up. But now I'm able to put everything in numerical and uh, alphabetical order. So you see my crates go from start one five seven eight nine a b c alphabetical order so that makes things a lot easier for me i'm going to work on getting that done on my um serato or whatever but at least i have the same crate names and the same contents of those crates now if i need to update i have to do the same thing but i don't really use crates like that a lot you know as far as changing stuff out i've lately been using a lot more with the playlist in itunes it's just easier for me to make a playlist in itunes and use the cable to sync it and i can do the same thing with my phones and get the playlist that i want but this is a way for me to at least have that confidence of having my serato crates available for me on the ipad so this is hopefully this wasn't a too long of a video maybe i can edit some stuff out keep it kind of short but um hopefully this helps you you can get your crates from serato onto um, your ipad one thing i will say is that when you're dragging your crate and you're in serato and you drag a, a crate over to the flash drive you have to let that whole crate um, copy over before you drag another one. You don't drag multiples over because it will most likely give you the rainbow ball of death and you're stuck and you'll have to uh, close out of Serato and relaunch it and you won't, you have to manually check to see if you copy there. It's just a mess. So just one crate at a time, you know, as you copy them over, but you can copy over as many crates as this uh, flash drive can handle and then manually pull them over, pull them over to the um, iPad. So hopefully that was uh, helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and be on the lookout for more. Peace.